We're at 100 yards again with the Gauntlet 30 using Griffin Bowtail Slugs, 78 grainers. We're gonna use the foam block for the first groups. If they aren't as tight as I want them to be, I'm gonna put this in a shooting rest. See how well we group. I wanna take my shooting ability out of the factor of whether or not the gun can group better. We do have the single feet because these slugs are a little bit too big for the, the gauntlet magazines. All right, it is windy today. I feel like we should be getting tighter groups than this. Not that that's bad, but I feel like these are capable of more. I'd love to see the footage on that right now. I'm pretty sure that went through another hole that was previously there. I'm not 100% sure though. Do one more. All right, let me get the shooting rest. First shot was a little high. The second one was exactly where I wanted it to be. Elevation's a little bit off, but the windage is pretty dead on. Tighter now. Wow. Didn't see where that one went. So I assume it had to go into one of the previous holes. Ditto. All right. Let's go back to the block. Let me get this lower. See how well we do with that. Let's go for the top left headshot. We'll do a group there, and then after that, we'll go back to the shooting rest. Like the legit one, not the, not the block. Wow, that thing is stacking in there pretty nice. <laughs> I love this ammo. If you can't tell, I've been giddy ever since we found out about this. Thank you, Florida Man Air Gun Channel. <laughs> This will be the fifth shot. I'm gonna go down there with some measuring tape. I wanna see the size of this group. Let's do one more and go down there. All right, let's go down there real quick and see how well we did so far. Curious to see how big this group is. I'm thinking, maybe an inch. Let's find out. First group's just shy of two and a half inches. Second group's looking about two inches. Last group, 
right around an inch. All right, let's stick with the foam block, considering this group was better than with the stand. So we're not gonna use the gun stand, we'll just use the foam block. Let's put another group here and check on that. And then I wanna do a gel test down here. One through gel at like five feet away. And then we'll do a comparison to 100 yards, see how far it's actually gonna go through the gel. All right, let's do that and finish this off. Let's see what we get for a group on round four. Wow. I can't help but jinx myself. Dead on. Wow. Two bullseyes. Dropped a little bit. We are tethered. I pulled that just a fraction. I guess I jinxed myself with a foam block after that talk I gave myself down there. <laughs> Can't make this up. Now I got the wind. We're probably at like a four inch group right there. Maybe three and a half. Let me do one more and then I'll set up the ballistics gel. I felt like that was perfect. One more. Go check down there and I'll set up the ballistics gel. Actually, I take it back. I'm gonna do the gel test first, bring the gel down there, and then we'll follow up. So let me blast this real quick. We're gonna do the same thing, but at 100 yards. Let's see how far this goes through. I forgot my tape measure, but the last group was about the same size as the first group. Right around three, three and a half inches. Next time we see each other, I'm gonna be 100 yards away. Let's see what we do at 100 yards versus pretty much, what, like two feet away? And two feet almost made it all the way through. Pretty impressive. All right, let's put a couple through this. Interesting noise. Was not expecting that at all. Another one. All right, last one. Let's inspect. How the shit did that just happen? I'm gonna have to dig this one out and show you guys, cause this is insane. It is crumpled. If someone can explain to me how we managed to go further into the gel at a longer distance, this just begs me to bring down the chronograph and shoot it. All right, let me dig that thing out and show you guys real quick. That was crazy. All right, let me get all these out. I might have bent that a little bit, but I don't really think I did too, too much to it. That thing was just chewed up.
Look at the tip of that. Let me measure how far this went to before I get too carried away. We got to just about 14 inches of penetration. This one's like an optical illusion. Probably could have gotten that out of the bottom quicker. This was the point blank round. Last one. That is pretty crazy. That was actually kind of interesting that the rounds that went 100 yards traveled further through the gel than at point blank range firing into it. I don't know if that is the case for all these different types of guns or whatnot, but that's what happened here. And if you want me to try out more, I can try out more. Just let me know and we can compare point blank gel tests to 100 yard gel tests or 50 yard, whatever you want me to do. If you want me to try and bring the chronograph down there and get both that data, I can do that too. But it's going to be a risk that I am willing to take. Just let me know and we'll do it. I'm just looking for some feedback if people actually want to see that because I don't want to bore anyone to death with this crap if that's not what they want to see. So let me know.